Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. I'm your host, Shenro. We're back in the land of Nav Go Bear. Nav Go Bear. Oh man, we're getting invaded so hardcore. These sieges don't matter that much. They do add to our war exhaustion, though. So I probably do want to get rid of these sieges if we can. Uh, priority is winning battles, though. This this war is all about battles, and my God, do we have a lot of ground to cover? We have won 33% of the battles, and each little victory we get is a little feather in my cap. I feel good about these victories, because we're putting a lot of effort into it, and my god, we are going to win this war. Well, even if we lose the war just by conceding defeat, I'm going to call that a fucking victory. This war is painful. Alright, you guys stay behind, you guys stay behind, you guys group up, cross that river. No, 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 oh, I can't cross. I cannot cross. You shall not. Something, something. Yeah. Uh, uh, here, split in half. There you go. And you guys, hello, are going to. Group up. Stay there. And the rest of you are going to go. So we're going to stand in Hudavednagar and Izmir. Oh, Izmit? What's this? Oh, the rebels, right. We're going to stand in Hudavednagar and Izmit so that they can't just go willy-nilly uh, back and forth across the Bosporus. We need them to feel the pressure. Actually, go to Kutaya. That way we can defend if we need to. Assist and defend if we need to. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I really wish France was, you know... Something other than useless. France is useless right now. He's not doing shit. Are you invading the Ottomans? No. Are you? He is invading Persia. A little bit. This is France's effort. He has invaded one, two, four provinces in Persia. That's what France has done this entire war. Other than that, his army is in America. Where's your army, France? There it is. There's France's army. He's standing in the New World in a province called Ziri's. I mean, granted, it's a nice province. You have, you know, naval supplies. It's an estuary. And he's super happy over there. But the problem is, he's not helping this war at all. He's not doing anything. And it means... <laughs> well, it means bad things for this war. Because I was really expecting him to be useful in the event of a coalition war. And so far, he has been nothing but useful. Nothing but, nothing but useless, I should say. Unuseful? None, none useful. Yeah, something like that. All right, looks like we get to play in Yedishkul. He is trying to run away from me, and I don't like that. Uh, Force March, get in there. Get in there and fight Maggot. Are we going to catch him? Of course we're going to catch him. Nice. Kill that stack. Uh, we probably want to roll this army around. Do I really care about these? I think I do have to unsiege these. Here, split in half. Unsiege these real quick. And then I want to roll that army around to help out this guy. Because he's going to be up here alone. And it looks like they're going to group up and go squish my army. So let's hope they don't do that. Persia's unsieging some stuff. That doesn't really matter. His army is distracted, which is good enough for me. I'm curious to see how this battle will go. France has pieced out. White peace. All right. That is really bad for us because, yeah, he, the Ottomans do not want peace at all right now. It was at negative 50, now it's at negative 62. He simply does not want peace at all. Uh, and that's also bad because now these, these armies, which is, I don't know, about 100,000 guys, they're going to come fuck my face and it's not going to be fun. Not even a little bit. All right, hopefully this will go well. It looks to be going well. Squish them, please. Is there like a morale guy or something I can get? No. There's no good advisors. No discipline guy, no morale guy, no nothing. Come on, finish it up. Accept their demands. 
Get out of here. 25 prestige down the drain, but whatever. At least I have chicken. Oh, they didn't squish, really. I thought they would squish. My 1-6 general did not squish them. Damn. All right, we'll turn off the forced march and come over here to Armenia. Just kind of sit back and relax. There's no rush at this point. Lost a claim on Manich. Doesn't matter. It's my vassal. France, why are you so useless? Why so useless? Oh, and my vassal has a six stack and it's going to get crushed. Good job, vassal. Yep. There it is, getting crushed. You can't give commands to a vassal, so he's just going to do that. And they got crushed. That's the thing, I mean, that, that one battle, let's see how much that was worth. That was in Niederlausitz, I think? Yeah, Niederlausitz. Let's take, or Oberlausitz, my bad. Let's take a look at the Battle of Oberlausitz, if we can find it. There's probably even multiple battles of Oberlausitz, but that one had six defending guys. Ober there it is. Yep, five war score for that battle. It took less than a day for the enemy to get five war score in Oberlausitz. Less than a day. Less than one day. And we have to claw and scrape for every little tiny bit of war score that we get. Whew, my goodness. My, my, my goodness. Oh, rebels. Okay, well, take them out. Then come back. Don't even have a shitty general for him. Shouldn't need one. Oh, look, fresh meat! <laughs> Just bringing in some random troop over for whatever reason. Squish, squish, squish. Wow, we have burned through so much manpower. At least we still have 150k manpower. Uh, do we need to do... Yes, we do. Wow, 55 ducats a month. Get those war taxes, baby. Alright, so he is unseaging my... St Persia is unseaging my stuff, which is fine. Uh, the sieges don't really matter that much. If we get his capital, though, I imagine that would be worth quite a bit. But the question is, could we actually hold it? I don't know, maybe. Goodbye, Brandenburgian army. Maybe goodbye? You better squish. You better squish. You govern in America. They want a replacement. All right, you can have a diplomat. Because I want them to start colonizing as soon as possible. Uh, oh, the Ottomans have rebels. I like it. Sicilian nationalists. Does that affect his uh, talks at the peace deal? Probably. I mean, talks at the peace table. I really wish you could separate peace people, but I understand why you can't. Let's see. No, 1961. Yeah, revolts in the Ottomans is worth a total of six war uh, six points at the peace t at the peace table. Not much. He has five exhaustion, and his military is weaker than ours, so we get a bonus for his w military being weak. If we get his capital, though, we'll get five points in our favor. That'll be a ten point switch. We'll be at 34. He'll be at... No, we'll be at 29. He'll be at 56 if we get his capital. We should probably go get his capital. It's worth a lot. But I need to finish these stupid religious sieges. And then we'll move on. Uh, 
Yep, here they come. Ottomans just have so many units and so much manpower. The Ottoman manpower never goes away. <laughs> Alright, let's roll over to Armenia with this army. Hello. There you go. There you go. Maybe we should go kick Persia around for some easy war score. Okay, Izmit has fallen. Good times. I think we'll split in half, send the ungeneraled army over to Kastamonu. This is where I want him to attack. I want him to attack across the Bosporus. Release Car or see Karbala, Bessarabia, and Basra, and all trees with France. Release Ireland. No. Good try, Ottomans. Good try. Ukrainian nationalists. Go Ukrainian nationalists. Anything that they do will actually help us because uh, they will do. They will undo Ottoman sieges, which is great. Yeah, looks like he wants to party, so by all means, come on down and attack me, bro. Come at me, bro. Bra. Come at me, bra. How goes the whole Ottoman manpower thing? They're down to 31 manpower. Ooh. Then again, I've lost two-thirds of my manpower as well. I wonder if he's going to kill my armies, I mean, my rebels for me. Yeah, he is. He's killing my rebels for me. I love it. Ha <laughs> ha. And he's, his rebels are going to succeed over here. This is fantastic. These Sicilian rebels. And he's killing my vassals rebels, too. We've got peasant rebels in Tyrol, and he's killing those guys, too. So considerate, man. You know? And see, this is the shit I'm talking about. Look at this. My vassal has three little stacks up here. They're all going to get crushed. And each one's going to be 3.5 war score or more. But when we crush one of those of the Ottomans, it's only worth 0 0.5 war score for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Alright, almost done with the religious rebels. That's good, because that's the only rebels that we can't siege their demand. And we can't uh, accept their demands. So we just have to kill them. Which is fine. Okay, more conversions please. Where to? Let's go. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. I want to do Sig Hank. So hurry up and unseize this province so I can convert it, please. Wave of immigration. No, oh, 200 pop. Nice. Yep, see you, Ordco. Okay, Hungary is stopping to siege Yedishkul. I like that. And the Ottomans are coming to attack us from behind, which is interesting. Not sure if it's good or bad or whatever, but it's interesting. You're going to force march down to Shervin and over to Armenia. Okay, he's trying to cut me off. I hope he goes for my rebels. Okay, group up. Idea time? Sure, why not? We're not going to take anything in this war. Trade steering and merchant steering towards inland. Nice, I'll take that. Hooray! That should give us a little more trade income. We're at 24.8 ducats right now. Then again, it's wartime, so that's what you get during wartime. It's not as good. Uh, I'm going to force march over to Azerbaijan. We'll meet up in the mountains again. Oh, he doesn't have an army here. I mean, he doesn't have a general here. That's interesting. I thought he did. All right, you guys can roll to Ankara. Okay, 
Convert. Where is it? There it is. No, that's Turk. Oh, Shinkak. There it is. Convert it. Oh, he's actually stopping. Oh, shit. We lost the Battle of Taungu. Really? We lost. Oh, but France is going to take care of it. How do we lose the Battle of Taungu? It's just some fucking Taungu nationalists. Their tech must be terrible. Oh, well, whatever. No biggie. I'm glad France has our back. At least in Asia. Damn it, France. Oh, well, this is nice. Um, I get to kill this little stack over here. Okay. <laughs> He's just going to drop little sieges. Uh, if that's the case, why don't I take out this rebel army first? Just because we're here. Oh, he's coming at us with an, with an offer. Let's see what his offer is. I'm sure it's full of garbage. Oh, yeah, you want my land. No, you're not going to get my land. Thanks, though. Thanks, though. I appreciate your your humor. 31 to 64. Man, that war score. What a bitch that war score is. And of course, my vassal, like a moron, is just standing one army in Hamadan, one troop in Hamadan, because that's how you—that's how you fight, right? You put one troop somewhere, and then just ignore it. What the fuck, stupid vassal! It is nice seeing these Sicilian nationalists. I hope they keep rolling around and rebelling and stuff. Yeah, they're going everywhere. They're even in Ferrara. Lovely. I'm going to tease him away from Ismit. He doesn't seem interested anyway. Yeah, he's just rolling around killing my rebels for me. I'm okay with that. Where are you going? Oh, he's going north now. Okay. Actually, can we get over there in time? We might be able to get there in time and kick this guy's butthole. Can we do that? I think we can. He has no general. Should be fine. Oh, he's going to try and stop. Oh, he's going to beat us by one day? Yeah, he's going to beat us by one day, even without a general. Wow. Well, that sucks. All right, we'll stop. We'll go to Azerbaijan. And you guys can... I'm not sure where I want you to go. Go on Siege Copet Dog. It's something to do. We can't siege as much as they can because they have more armies. So we can't unsiege things as fast as they are sieging them. That is a big problem. Hmm. Not really sure what we can do from this point. And we're also losing money now. Granted, a lot of that is reinforcing the army. Hmm. There goes Hudavednagar. Or Hudavendagar. Such a weird war.
he is actually going to attack us in Copet Dog. Even though we have a 3-5 general. Wow. He's got a 3-6. I guess that's his reasoning. Uh, let's go give him a hug. Forced march? No, no forced march. Oh, he changed his mind about attacking us real quick. <laughs> mm, uh, yeah, he's not attacking us anymore. Okay, fair enough. Squish that Lithuanian army and come back. Alright, what are the Ottomans doing? I don't know. They're kind of wandering around. Oh, he has a big army sieging in Tyrol. I guess there is that. France has a regency. Okay. Mm, yeah, we're still okay here. He needs to keep improving relations, though, because we're, we're upset that he left the war early. Is that negative 30 or something like that? Oh, shit. He's actually going to get there in time to defend Gielan. Wow, that sucks. All right, we'll just stay out of it, then. Checkbox, go. Yeah, we're at war with the Ottomans, and thusly much of the world. Uh, I wonder where that guy's going. Netherlands has actually crossed over to... Okay, see, now that now that we've left this, now everyone's coming directly for it. I should have predicted that would happen. I'm an idiot. Let's see if we can block him in and cut this guy off. Karbala, Bessarabia, and Basra give marches to England, release Ireland. No. Go away. Stupid peace deal. Alright, he's content just to stand there. Interesting. Give me that Diplo points. Also, we can get our exhaustion down. And our inflation down. Hooray! I think the play here is to crush this stack. I would prefer to be on the defensive, but I guess it's not super duper necessary. We'll see. At the moment, he's not really being threatening. He's just sieging. Oh, we're getting attacked in Artabil. Okay. We have a 1-6. We're in the mountains. We're defending. He has a 3-6. We should be okay here. We have better tactics, but he has more discipline and more morale. Oof. Um, not sure how this is going. There's so many pop-ups. Oh yeah, we got this. Wow, we rolled a 9. That's all it took. How you win game? Roll 9s. How? Roll 9s. Okay, you are going to forced march over to Huda Vendigar. Please. And can we please go block this hole? Okay, we're going to get there first. He's actually attacking us in Izmit. Interesting. I didn't expect him to actually attack us, but he does have one tech ahead of us, right? Yeah, he's one tech ahead. And his general is a 3-3. Three, three. I've got a 5-3. We should be okay. We're going to be defending in Izmit. We have some backup armies nearby. Should be all right, I think. I hope. God, I fucking hope. It's our first time actually fighting the Netherlands in this war. No, we did fight him in uh, Marienburg. That's true. Come on. Get lucky in Kostamanu. Just finish that siege so I can use this army. Come on. Please. Yes, we got lucky in Kostamanu. And we won the battle in Gilan. Four war score. Really? Only four war score for that? I mean, it's better than nothing. But four war score for a battle that big is just pitiful. We should be getting more war score than that. All right, turn off that forced march, and you guys can forced march into the battle. Wait for one day. There we go. So he's committed, and we're going to go this way. You can unsiege and commit to Izmit. Let's do this. Come on, good rolls. We do have a better general, but he's going to have more morale, and he has better units. He's one tech ahead, and at the next tech, you at the next level, next tech level, 26, 
Uh, he gets, yeah, new units. Cav and soldiers. Okay, he rolled a zero. That's a good start for us. But yeah, look at that morale. 7.8 morale. Jesus. Oh my god, we're getting slaughtered. Holy shit. What the fuck? Why is our morale zero? What? Our morale is just all of a sudden zero. I don't even understand. Oh my god. We need two days. Hold on for two days. That's all I ask. Two days. One, two. There we go. Our backup is arriving. Our morale should start to pick up. Ho, 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 ho. Wow. Okay, we have more backup coming. Wow. Okay, now we're winning massively. Let's get the Hurt Army out. Go heal up. And we'll keep the Unhurt Armies in this battle. Ow! Oh my god! Holy shit, does that hurt! Oh my god! These next... That next tech... Oh, there's a nice roll for us. We rolled a 9. That next tech is just a killer! Holy shit. Okay. We're retreating all the way to... Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Look at this. This motherfucker is retreating from Izmit all the way around the Black Sea, all the way around Crimea, all the way through Lithuania and Polotsk to Krakow. Are you shitting me? What the fuck kind of retreat path is that? Fuck you, game. Okay, this is a huge win for us. Give me lots of war score. Come on. 10 war score. Really? We killed 45,000 dudes. We get 10 war score. What a joke. What a joke. Okay, uh, you can undo that and go here. You can stay there, but turn that off. And you can tentatively go siege Izmir. Why not westernize? Because it's pointless. Uh-oh. No, my king, my knyaz, my... Posadnik? My Posadnik died. Alright, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the election until we absolutely have to. Uh, because we're gonna keep getting the monthly bonuses of 655. And oh my god, that is a scary ass general. I feel like we're about to get raped. Uh Yeah, about that. Hmm. Mmm. I cannot fight that army right now. Even if we engage with this half morale, there's just no chance. We gotta back up and get our morale up. So everyone go to Mosul. Uh, and the healthy army can go to Kurdistan instead. Um, can you take, like, some other weird route? Go this way. There. It'll take a little longer, but at least they won't be walking on top of each other. Although they will in Durkadur. Wow. Um, there. That's better. Yep. Okay. Election. We're going to keep this. Just ignore it. Uh, we'll keep our 655 for as long as possible. But uh, he is dead, apparently. Don't tell him he's dead. He's, he's not really dead. Right? He's fine. Oh shit, he's force marching on us? He's not going to catch us, but we're going to have to start force marching to get out of here. OK. 
Okay. There. All right. I still don't know why we're re we're we're retreating all the way to Krako from Izmit. That doesn't make any sense. That is a really 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 long retreat. Like, I don't know, what is that? 30 provinces? That is so far. That should not happen. 46 rebels in Krako. Oh goody, that means when our army arrives, it is going to get dead. This army, when it arrives in Krako, will have 46,000 rebels on top of it. Wow. Well, that's that's great. No, that's fantastic. Thanks, game. You're the best. Fuck you, game. Fuck you right in the ass with a rake. All right, we are going to go uh, this way into Gilan and Armenia. Yes. Our amazing Posadnik is dying. And this war just drags on. What? Erzurum? No, no, no. Your pathing was not supposed to go through Erzurum. You motherfucker! The pathing said it was going to go through Durkadur. Ah, shitballs. Shitballs, piss fuck. Damn it. Now this guy's going to have to retreat as well. There we go. And where is he going? Uh, to shoes. Okay, well, that's another army that we can't use. So we are absolutely fucked here. We're going to have to go straight to a Serbajan. Or Sharazor. Sharazor works. Well, that was unexpected and shitty. Oh, look, a peace offer. Karbala, Besrabia, Basra, Ireland. That's the same thing as before. It's the same shitty peace offer as before, Ottomans. What are we at any on, anyway? You can't even click on him because of these windows. We're at 53, and... Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it has not moved. We're at 31 versus 62. Mm, length of war is not on either side. So length of war is exactly zero right now. If we wait out a while, length of war will start being in our favor, but it will never go up to 32. Or if it does, we'll have tons and tons and tons and tons of call for peace by then. Now the problem is the Ottomans are going to start sending peace offers, and at the bottom of the peace offer, you really have to scroll down to find this, it'll say in parentheses, this offer is better than we would expect, and... Uh, declining it will something, 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 something. Essentially, it pisses off your nation and you lose stability. And we can do that four times. We'll go from plus one stability down to negative three. And then if we get another peace offer like that, where it's got the parentheses, this offer, whatever, whatever, is better than you expect. Then if you're at negative three and you get one of those, you automatically accept it. You have no choice in the matter. The next peace offer they send when you're at negative three is automatically accepted. So I don't want to get that far. And I'm not sure what we can do. Whew, this is a bad situation.
Oh, no, nah, he's not going to Kirko. Come on, go to Kirko. Damn it. If some moron would just go to Kirko, I could spawn these rebels on their face. But they're not. France still doesn't have an army here. He's got 16 guys. whoop de doo And my vassal keeps building one unit and getting crushed. Stop. I mean, there's nothing we can do. If, if the war boils down to us winning all the big battles, every single big battle, we crush them. We do so well. You know, we got 15 war score. We got 20 war score. We got 10 war score. We're winning all these big battles. We're doing great. But our vassal keeps losing these little one stacks. One unit, squish. One unit, squish. 3.5 war score. 3.5 war score. 3.5 war score. We can't keep up with that. There's nothing we can do about that. And that really is the downfall of having allies or vassals. Really annoying. You need to be able to give general commands to vassals. And that is it. That is the end of an era. Uh, Arseni... Mbibikov is our new Posadnik. We no longer have a 655. We now have a 411. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. I've been Chen. You've been you. Uh, this war is really, really, really bad for us. But uh, it's war nonetheless. And it's what we signed up for. So it's what we have to deal with. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Oh, these guys aren't retreating anymore. What the? What? They're not retreating anymore. What? Why aren't you retreating anymore? I don't know. So we're going to go stand in Twer. We'll group up with that guy from Shoes. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.